and she is looking f -f -f fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, he's doing all these crazy ab motions. You guys, you know when we bust this bad boy out, it's Eat. freezer meal time. Oh yeah. And I'm actually so excited because, you guys, summer is kind of crazy where you have all this time to cook, but you don't want to cook. <laughs> So we eat out a lot. Yeah. So I figure, you know what? It's probably time for us to make some freezer meals, get prepped and ready. That way, during the day, I can just throw things into the crock pot and have it all ready to go. So that is what we're doing today, you guys. We are doing three different crock pot chicken recipe meals. And this is literally all the ingredients you need for all of them. Wow. Which is like not many at all. Totally my style because it doesn't take a lot of prep work. Okay, so you guys, we are gonna be doing a French chicken freezer meal recipe. We are gonna be doing a creamy Italian freezer meal recipe and a Cafe Rio chicken freezer meal recipe. Wow, you guys. <laughs> so we've got three different ones here for you guys. Like I said, they're all super easy. This is gonna take literally no time to throw them all together and have them prepped and ready for the week. The first one we're gonna do is the French chicken crock pot recipe. Now again, remember these are all like throw in the crock pot recipes, which is nice for the summer because you don't have to deal with the stove and all that to make it like, it makes it so hot in here. So first thing I do is I get my little bag, you guys, and I will write on it what the recipe is, the date that I made it, and kind of like instructions for the cooking instructions. So. Um, this one's gonna cook in the crock pot for four to six hours. I'll, I'll give you guys all the details, but that's what I'm gonna go through first and just right on here and have everything ready to go. That way when I throw it in the freezer, I know when I take it out what I need to do and all that stuff. Ooh, and you guys, we are so excited to like try these out. These are all new recipes. These are all new and it's all stuff that I'm like, oh, this sounds so good. Like, I feel like there's certain like items in recipes that it's like you just know they're gonna be good. Yeah, and so, we're, and if you guys don't already know, we are a chicken family. So <laughs> these chicken freezer meals are literally gonna get us excited because they've got like different dressings. Yeah. You've got Olive Garden, or Olive Garden dressing. Yes. You've got the French, uh, the French dressing. I was telling Danny, I have, we haven't bought French dressing in so, I remember this was my preferred dressing as a kid. Wow. Yeah, and okay. I have literally not had it since I was a kid. Comment down below what your favorite salad dressing is. Mine is Thousand Island. Thousand Island. I love Ooh. Thousand Island. I'm gonna say ranch, but I love the ranch out of the packet. Like, Ooh. out of the packet in the sour cream, it's so delicious. So. Well, I would have to say, I like Caesar, Caesar salad Ooh. dressing on a Caesar salad. Yes. If it's iceberg, I love Thousand Island. Yes. That's, so it depends yeah. on the salad. It yes. does. The totally Cafe Rio dressing is hard to beat though. Ooh. I do love me some Cafe Rio dressing. So, okay. So you guys, I'm going to go through on here and just write what this recipe is. And then we're going to, I'm going to walk you through the recipe and how to do it. Okay. So I got it all filled out. I actually put it on a label and stuck it on here. So that is something that you guys Wow. I know. Well, it's really because I didn't have a Sharpie. I couldn't find one. So I'm like, ah, I'll just write it on a label, which works just as good so i've got all the instructions on here for the french chicken so basically you just take it out an hour before you dump it into your crock pot you cook on low for four to six hours you shred and serve boom bam done what yep and it says it's best with like served over rice okay so to do this one you guys it's literally like a dump and go it's oh these are the best and you guys every freezer meal video that we bring this out we always have to shout out vanessa yes. over at lemonade mom because she awesome. sent that to tina and was like here use this for yeah, freezer meals yeah because i was like trying to like get it all everything in all weird and without this thing and then she's she's like here i'm sending this to you and she totally sent it and i've used it so much ever since it's, it's a game a changer total game changer so for this specific recipe you guys are going to need don't you wish that you had three of them that would be that cool. would just go boom, 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 boom. I could. That would have been sweet. I know. I think she has multiple, actually. Oh. So the more I get into doing the freezer meals, maybe we'll get some more. We'll see. But anyways, for the French chicken, you're going to need the French dressing. You're going to need a can of cranberries. Interesting combo. Ooh, cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce, yes. And then you are going to need the Limpton uh, onion soup, soup mix. mix. So, yum. This is also good when you make and dip chips into it. Ooh, 
So good. And then you're gonna need about four to six chicken breasts. Okay. So we'll probably do, well these ones are big, so we might do four or Let's five. Let's do four. We might do four or five. Okay, so first things first, we are gonna just start dumping things in here. Before you put the chicken in, you want to combine all of the ingredients that are inside. So we are doing a cup of the French uh, dressing. Ooh, so, ooh, look at that. Really? And then just plop and drop? Just Drop it in, baby. Oh my gosh, Just drop you guys. Drop it in. That's the best part of. I recipes. should be doing these freezer meals. You because should be, actually. This is so easy peasy. Yeah, you could totally do this. And then this can is total cringe because the top of the can is right here. And this is. <laughs> oh, wow. So, anyways, you're going to do a whole can of the cranberry sauce. Which I love cranberry sauce and I love it for like Thanksgiving, but uh, out of the can, it's so good. Okay, I'm not big on cranberry sauce. I don't know why. You don't like cranberry juice either. No, just the cran pineapple, you guys, is the best. Oh, yeah, that is so yummy. Okay, so we're gonna dump this in here. Woo! Whoa, <laughs> looks like jello. Yum. Do you mix it in at all uh -huh. or just plop and drop? Yeah, I'll show you. So then you're gonna put in a packet of the onion soup. Stuff. Wow. So there's this. There's Come on, you guys. How how there. easy is this freezer meal? Oh my gosh, so easy. And we had a lot of the ingredients already at home, which I'm sure you guys do too. Okay, then you're gonna take it off of this, kind of zip it up, let the air out. Okay, and then you're gonna just like mix it all up. So you got to get that cranberry um, stuff all in there, all mashed up. So. Get it all nice and mixed, all mixed up. Don't know what to do. Dee -dee -da -da, booty booty boo. Booty boo. Booty boo. Oh. Booty boo, man. baby. <laughs> oh wow. That sounded like that bear. No. Hey boo boo. Hey boo boo. Hey boo boo. It's hey, Yogi Bear. Yogi Bear. <laughs> Yogi Bear. Okay. So I'm just going to smash this all up. I wonder what this smells like, you guys. This is these are honestly these are interesting flavors together. So we'll give you guys an update on how these taste when we cook them up. But let's see. Yeah, that smells good actually. Does it smell like booty boo? It smells like booty boo. Oh. <laughs> no, it smells like the French. It just smells like this. Okay. Like that's the overpowering scent. And I did get like a little spicy one of one, right? Yeah, this one says sweet and spicy. I think that'll be okay. Yeah, it's a mix of Come both, on, so. who doesn't like their chicken sweet and spicy? I do. I know I do. Okay, so then you're just going to basically put this back up and we are going to add the cheek on into Ooh. these. Okay, so we've got all that in there. We're gonna put these big old cheese. You guys, these are actually huge. Wow, where are these, those from? These are the Costco or Sam's those Club. Those are Sam's, I think. Okay, they might be Sam's Club. Um, so we'll see how many we feel like will fit in here. Uh, Like two? No. Maybe, Maybe three, that's Probably it. Probably three, but these are Mondo, yeah, those, guys. Yeah, those count as almost six. Yeah, that is literally, I think we can fit one more. No, I wouldn't, because the sauce, you want it to. Saturated. Yeah. Okay, so we are gonna do three things of chicken, which is literally for these chickens is plenty for our family, especially if you serve it over rice because rice is so filling. So usually we'll serve this like over rice and then have like um, salad on the side. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm thinking Spanish rice with that one. French. Too. Yeah, because it's spicy. It's sweet and spicy. Yeah, we could totally try that. Okay, washed my hands real quick, guys, and now we've got this all in here. We're gonna mix it all up. Oh my god. And I'm gonna say put the label on after you're done. Yeah. If you're using labels. If you're writing it, write it first. But if you're using labels, do it after because it's gonna get all crinkled. It's still fine, but yeah. So I'm gonna just let some more air. Make sure you get all the air out and then zip it up tight. One down. Wow, you guys. One down. Woo! I'm so excited. There's just something about feeling prepped and ready for the week or whenever and just knowing like it's in the freezer, ready to go. All I have to do is throw it into a crock pot. So, Serious. So nice. Okay, this is the first one, you guys, all done. And I like to use these Ziploc bags because you can just lay them flat in the freezer and save on some room. So we will usually put all of our freezer meals in our freezer in our garage and then just have them ready in there. So one down, you guys, we're working on the next one. This is the Cafe Rio chicken one. Ooh. Ooh, so we'll see. We'll see how 
close this gets to Cafe Rio. Sometimes I feel like people just spit that out and it doesn't really taste like it, but we're gonna try it out. This calls for Italian dressing. We are using Olive Garden dressing because I feel like that's close enough. So you're gonna need a cup of that. You're gonna need some garlic. You can use the lazy garlic like we do, or you can use fresh gar garlic, whatever you want. Um, chili powder, cumin, a half a cup of water, and a package of ranch, and then your chicken. And wow. That's it. So this is the Cafe Rio. Which one of their chickens? I think they only have one chicken. Oh, they just have like a regular... They just have like shredded chicken. Oh, okay. Or, you know. All right. Like the chicken they put in their salads and their burritos and stuff like that. So you guys stay tuned so. for upcoming vlogs where we might have us eating these meals. Yes. And we could tell you guys what we think of them. We will totally update you guys on on these. Or follow us on our Instagram stories and we'll let you know as well. Yeah, or text us. <laughs> and if or, you have them and you guys want to try them, we'll let you know how they work. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so this is going to be basically like the other one that we did where we're going to just pour in all of the ingredients first, mix it all up, and then add the chicken. So, pretty easy. So, we'll start with the olive garden dressing we're gonna do a cup of that and keep in mind you guys these are crock pot freezer meals crock pot freezer meals crock pot freezer meals yeah and if there's any other freezer meals you guys want to see there was a few there was like a tortellini recipe that i wanted to try oh. um, that aren't necessarily crock pot ones but we could do some that are pretty easy that you could just throw in your oven if you want so whenever we so, do crock pot freezer meals when we do one we like to we're just like let's just do two more yeah. so it's kind of like the theme of the video yes exactly so we've done a cup of the italian dressing we're doing a half a cup of water we're doing a full packet of the ranch um powder stuff whatever you want to call it uh this stuff is so good too Ooh, tina loves that to dip like her Veggies. What veggies in? Yes, so good. Makes them a little less healthy, but whatever. Next, we are adding in half a tablespoon of chili powder. Ooh. So I'm gonna do half. I can't find my half, so I'm gonna half the tablespoon. Chili, baby. Chili. So half of that. You're gonna do half a tablespoon of cumin, which is. What does that taste like? Oh, not. I don't know. It doesn't smell like it would taste. It's just one of those where you just add it and don't question it. Yeah. Just follow the recipe. Half a tablespoon of cumin and then half a tablespoon of garlic. Ooh, Yum. lazy garlic. Lazy garlic, my fave. Yeah, guys, it just makes things so quick and easy. I did not have to chop anything up with that. Okay, taking this off and we're gonna just mix it up and then add the chicken just like in the other one. Bum, bum, bum. That, you guys, that smells pretty strong. It does. It smells good. Though. Wow. That smells, I like, I can smell the, um, the Olive Garden. The Olive Garden, but I get the, what is it called? The chili powder. Yes, and you guys, that, now that sounds good mixed with white, white rice. Ooh. Like, let the, like, the liquid saturate it. Oh, my mouth is watering. I a lot of these with white rice. You know what all else these would be good on top of, though? What? If you're looking for another idea, baked potatoes. Okay, okay. I think that could be good on that's top good. of baked potatoes. That's good. Okay, so mixing this all up. Da, 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 da. Trying to get this dressing. Okay, and then we're going to put it back in here and add the chicken. Ooh. And this one says four to six as well, so it'll probably end up being exactly like the last one. Probably are, three. They're huge. Yeah, these are huge. Um, but just know, you guys, if you need more or less, you can always double the recipe, triple the recipe, or you can also half the recipe so whatever you need for your family i would say not maybe don't half it because it make good leftovers too oh so, yeah okay so we got all the chicken in i'm gonna wash my hands so hands are washed just going to air make sure the air is all out and also you guys with these recipes they don't have to be freezer meals if you want to just throw it straight into the crock pot day up you could totally do that too so this is honestly just to make sure we're prepped for the week so i'm not we're not eating out like every night. Serious, because it's getting dangerous. Like it's getting dangerous. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. No, it's not. <laughs> Stop. I do cook sometimes. You, yeah, but you know what? You haven't been feeling 100%, so it's totally okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is great to have these. Like if 
I do get sick yeah. if something goes on. So yeah, so we're gonna just mix these all in here, all together. Oh, I can tell this is gonna be another good one, you guys. Yeah, and if you're still not feeling well here or there, like it's easy enough where you could be like, hey Ash, or hey, hey Danny, yeah. like, go throw it in the crock pot. Yeah, can you just take that out and throw it in the crock pot? Boom, bam, done. Okay, so now I'm gonna make the label for this one. Remember I was telling you guys, maybe do it after. So I'm gonna make the label and I'll let you guys know exactly the cooking instructions on this specific one. Okay, so before I tell you guys the directions on how to cook the Cafe Rio chicken, I wanted to tell you guys about this awesome, could, wait, what is it? Adoric? This Adoric. awesome Adoric um, culinary torch. Ooh. That we are so excited about, mainly because, you guys, Danny is gonna be doing an awesome recipe coming up. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. We have been dying to make it, but just have never had like the torch to crisp the top. So we are going to be doing that, and you guys, we're also going to be doing a giveaway because we got another one. Oh. <laughs> okay, so all you guys are going to need to do to enter for this giveaway is just comment down below, I want my torch, and you guys are entered for the giveaway, and we will be picking a winner on our Sunday Live. So stay tuned for that, you guys. These are actually really cool. I'm and excited to do it. I'm excited for that cook with me. Yes, and if you guys want some more information on it, or if you just want to automatically just get one of your own, yes. all that information will be in the description box below. Yes. So there you go. So moving on, you guys. For this recipe, it's exactly the same as the last one. So basically, you're gonna just take it out, take it out an hour before you want to cook it, or you can run it under hot water for like 15 minutes. Um, dump in the crock pot, cook low, four to six hours, shred and enjoy. Nice. That's it. That's it. Chicken crock pot freezer meal number two. Yes. So moving on to our third and final crock pot recipe. Okay. Last but not least, you guys, we got the Italian chicken recipe. So for this one, you are going to need a can of cream of chicken soup, a, a packet of the Italian dressing mix, and then you are going to need a thing, an eight ounce, yes, eight ounces of cream cheese softened, and then your chicken. That's wow. it. Literally, that's it, you guys. So. Same thing with this one. We're gonna just dump these bad boys right in here. And how about how long do these um, crock pot freezer meals, how long can they stay frozen for? I would say up to like six months. Really? Okay. Yeah, at, at least. Yeah. It just depends. It, I, I would say six months. Because yeah. it's the chicken, you don't want it to get like frostbite or yeah, freezer. Like oh that. no, was it freezer? Freezer burn. Yeah, whatever. Freezer burn. Um, that would just be my guess. Don't quote me on it, but I would probably I would cook it before six months. Yeah, personally. and if and if any of you do know, let let us know down in the yes, comments. Share that info. That. You guys know we're no pros. We just kind of live life, you know. <laughs> we just go as we go. We just pretend. Yeah, we pretend to uh, know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got the Italian dressing. Oh, it smells so good. And the cream of chicken soup. And now you're going to put in a whole block of the cream cheese. I don't know how this could be. I mean, you can't go wrong with these. I'm curious so th how that just mixes up and it's like a thick sauce. Yes, this one's going to be a little bit thicker. So it basically says to mix it all up, but then you're going to put the chicken in it and you're going to mix it up again with the chicken just to get it like all coated. Okay. So we're going to dump this in here. Watch the spot. Look how much though, like you don't have to really even use very many dishes for these. Like you can literally just dump it all in here. That's nice. The clean, it makes cleanup so easy. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this off again, just like the other ones, guys, deja vu baby. And then take the air out, and then mush this all up together. Ooh, that's satisfying. <laughs> that is satisfying. So. It's, what's cool, you guys, is with, with each of these crock pot freezer meals, they have their own distinct smell. So it's yes. like, the smell is so like, good, <laughs> that you can almost taste what it's gonna be like. Yes. Do you, know what I, do you know what I mean? I do, I know what you're saying. And I honestly, with all three of these, I don't feel like you can really go wrong with these ingredients. I really don't. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say these are gonna be amazingly delicious. Ooh. Yes. So, okay, so now we've got it kind of all mixed up. We are gonna put it back on. Well, you know what happens when you can't go wrong. What, what, what? You can only be right. That's true. <laughs> wow. Danny dropping the wisdom back. Wow. wow. That's right. That's right. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So we got that mixed up and it is, you guys, it's super thick. 
So, but it says in the recipe that's how it's supposed to be. So we are gonna drop in the chicken in this one and then totally just mix it all together oh, wow. as well. And keep in mind, like even though it's kind of like real thick right here, you're gonna kind of marinate the chicken a little bit. Once you dump it into the crock pot, it'll actually saturate it even more. Yes, cooking in the crock pot all day does wonders. Oh yeah. Okay, so we got, we did three big things of chicken in this one as well. And I was just thinking, I feel like next time I do these, I'm gonna make double the recipe just because we could, you, that I mean, that would be six nights of food instead of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the thing is too, is most likely you're gonna shred the chicken, right? Yes. Yeah, so I mean, shredded chicken does go a lot further, I feel like. Oh, for sure. And well, like I said, especially when you have it with like rice and stuff, it's totally, totally good. Okay, so basically you're just gonna go through now since it's such a thicker sauce, you wanna just get the sauce all up in that chicken. Get it all get up it in all there. Get it all up in there, baby. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're gonna do that, and then once you're done with that, I'll add my label and we'll be ready to go. You guys, literally three crock pot freezer chicken meals. All right, you guys, so for the last one, the last recipe, it's literally the same as the others. You're gonna, you're gonna take it out an hour before, dump it in the crock pot, cook on low for four to six hours, shred and serve, boom, bam, done. So, that's it, you guys. Literally three freezer meals in a matter of, like, no time. Wow. Yeah, that, like, was super fast, super quick. And we're gonna be doing these more, you guys. And we also have other ones that we have posted from back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's been a little while. We'll link them here, put them at the end of the video, put them up in the cards, just be ready to check yeah. them out. Yeah, go check them out. So if you guys are looking for some good freezer meal ideas, we have plenty of those. We will be doing more and we're excited to try all these. I think they're gonna be amazing. Okay, you guys, so that is it. Don't forget to enter in the giveaway in the comments down below, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, choose your day. I see a light in your eyes. I fall